Hey, it's nice to have you back here in this new video. Today, we'd like to give you a deep dive into the side-by-side -side comparison in between this Insta360 ONE RS and the GoPro HERO 11 Black. Just want to know which camera is better in your everyday life and just want to explore which one of the camera could deliver the most value in your content creation. My name is Jing Guo. My YouTube channel is dedicated to 60 photography, video, accessories, and some coloring technology. Let's start with the Insta360 ONE RS Twin Edition. I mean with 4K boost lens and the 360 mod. Because there's two lenses in one, the module design has exactly the same price point as the GoPro HERO 11 Black. So both of this setup will cost you around 548 US dollars. The GoPro has different product strategy. They didn't come up with a module design, but they set the individual camera into a different product line, such as the GoPro Max and the GoPro Hero 11 Black. So if you just want to get the equivalent experience like this One RS module system with 4K boost and 360 mod, you have to purchase two cameras in the GoPro product line. That is the latest GoPro Hero 11 Black or GoPro Hero 10. At least you need the GoPro Hero 9 plus an extra GoPro Max. So the two cameras in one is exactly what you're gonna get on this Insta360 ONE RS Twin Edition. Cause this camera has modular design and its interchangeable lens system make this camera more affordable and more functional compared with the GoPro Hero 11 Black. That is to say, with exactly the same price for the GoPro Hero 11 Black, you get amazing spec sheet, a superb performance with a fixed point of view. But for the Insta360 ONE RS module system, not only you get the 4K boost mod to capture up to 4K60, and you also could interchange the lens into another 360 mod and transform this form factor into 360 mod as we capture 5.7K at the maximum. 30 of has just reframe to whatever you want in post with the Studio and Insta360 app. For the One RS, you also have an extra option to purchase only the One RS with the 4K boost mod at $299, which is around $150 cheaper compared with the GoPro Hero 11 Black. But although the GoPro Hero 11 Black is uh, much more expensive, but it did deliver a better performance, a better spec sheet uh, inside this camera. So personally speaking, for the everyday content creator like you and me, personally speaking, I think maybe the One RS with 4K boost mod at $299 is a better choice if you doesn't want to shoot 360, but just want to enjoy uh, amazing 4K resolution in such little form factor. Not only it is a lot cheaper, but it's also lighter compared with the GoPro Hero 11 Black. Because for the GoPro Hero 11 Black, sometimes things is really heavy to put in your hands. As we know, the Insta360 ONE RS was designed to be a modular action camera system and is first of its kind in the era of action camera. So for this modular system, you have multiple choices. They have interchangeable lens system. It is not just like an ordinary DSLR mirrorless camera. This lens module has the chipset and electrical circuit board inside this lens. That it has built-in flow state stabilization and it also has different imaging sensors, different lens structures that provide you more possibilities in your content creation. So for example, the 4K boost mod, it has a half inch imaging sensor that could deliver up to 4K 60 and also it built with sensor level active HDR which is pretty insane and if you want to enjoy the 360 shooting and you want to enjoy the flow state stabilization technology I think if you, the ONE RS with 360 mod is your ideal choice so for the amazing imaging quality the possibility of reframe in post you get all the possibilities in the 360 world. If image quality doesn't matter to you, I think the ONE RS with a one inch Leica build is your ideal choice because it built with 5.3K at most 30 FPS with in-camera flow state stabilization, which could deliver equivalent performance 
compared with the GoPro Hero 11. Black bones have similar spec sheet, but this has a better low light performance and all and the bones of this camera has amazing in-camera stabilization. So to speak, with the Wonder S, you have one camera, but you have three ways to shoot. And to the Wonder S users, you can get to switch in between different lens module. With all of these choices, I think uh, this is where this modular system action camera really rivals that of the GoPro with a fixed field of view, fixed lens module, and a fixed price range. Well, considering the Wonder S was built to be a modular camera system, so every one of the module is upgradable. For example, for the battery, if you're not satisfied with the normal battery, you can upgrade to boost the battery that has 2,400 milliamp. That is twice the capacity compared with the normal battery. And what I need to say, the booster battery also has a foldable GoPro finger mount on the bottom, which is a very good choice for the everyday content creator. For the lens module, you can also get to upgrade the one inch action camera module, but you can also upgrade this module, this one inch, I mean the one inch 360 mount, the dual one inch image sensor you also get this upgrade bundle. So with the dual 1 inch 360 mount, the new design boosted battery, the vertical battery, and the new protection frame, and if you connect with the OneRS Core module, you get one of the most amazing design in the 360 camera industry. With 6K resolution, dual 1 inch sensor, full sensor readout, also with amazing flow state, stabilization, and at the same time with amazing audio quality directly from the camera. If you want to know more about this oh, dual 1 inch 360 mount, you can refer to my previous in-depth review on this camera. So that is it with all of these modules in my hand. The Wonder S lets you upgrade the individual parts of a system. For the Wonder S modular system, you not only can upgrade the core, the battery, the lens, but you also get to upgrade this whole system to the 1 inch 360 edition with amazing low light performance. Uh, on the contrary, the GoPro Hero 11 Black, you just cannot upgrade the hardware. For the hardware, it has a fixed design for this 11th generation. The only way you could upgrade the GoPro Hero camera is to buy a new one in the next year. But for the One RS, you can also upgrade to some external audio capture, external story devices that make this whole modular system a lot more appealing to the customers. Well, let's talk about the image sensor. The GoPro Hero 11 Black has inbuilt one over 1.9 inch sensor. That has a round uh, square shape. It has eight over seven aspect ratio. You can literally generate the 5.3K video the vertically, horizontally, just by cropping the full image sensor. So this is where the GoPro Hero 11 has its unique innovation design for this action camera scenarios. But for the image sensor, this image sensor doesn't support sensor level HDR. So for, for those of you who might come across with huge dynamic range scenarios such as the sunset, sunrise, uh, capture the content in the middle of the day with bright sunlight in your background, this is where the One RS with 4K boost mode really shines. So the 4K boost mode has a half inch image sensor, which we know that is IMX586, that support sensor level HDR, which is make with this feature make the active HDR possible on this One RS 4K boost mode. They literally help you capture all the dynamic range and synthesize the HDR video in real time that this camera could deliver on parallel dynamic range compared with the GoPro. Hero 11 Black. Okay, this is my action camera 360 camera comparison setup. In the middle of the setup is GoPro Hero 11 Black. And on the left and right is Insta360 One RS with 4K boost and Insta360 One RS with 360 mod. So these two cameras combined together forms the One RS Twin Edition. So try to use setup to help you evaluate the real world performance when you have your One RS Twin Edition versus the GoPro Hero 11 Black because the bundle of One RS 2 Edition has the same price point with the GoPro Hero 11 Black.
This is a side-by-side -side test of the active HDR on the Winner S with 4K Boost versus the GoPro Hero 11 with no HDR shooting capability. This is a high contrast situation where you can test out the performance of these two cameras. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison on the Winner S with 4K Boost shooting at active HDR with in-camera flow state stabilization. Right, on the GoPro Hero 11, I'm shooting at 5.3K Hyper-View with Auto Boost. Okay, here's more tests on the HDR versus the non-HDR on the One RS 4K Boost and Hero 11 Black. High dynamic range situation for daily vlog. Let's test it out the real performance of these two camera in the complex bright sunlight at the same time with shadows, the black spot all around these places. Actually, this is very beautiful light in our content creation. I'm just wondering which one of camera has better performance in such challenge light conditions. It's not low light, but it's complex bright sunlight with high dynamic range. Well, one thing to mention that if you have enabled the active HDR shooting mode, the maximum performance will be locked to 4K at 30 FPS or 4K at 25 FPS. Because in this mode, you have to utilize the sensor synthesizing on the basis of different pixel level. So the active HDR shooting mode is one thing that I love most about this modular design and this 4K boost mode. And this is, I think you definitely give it a try and in your content creation because this active HDR is really powerful in your content creation and you don't have to worry about the overexposed, underexposed in the bright shooting scenarios. I suggest always turn on active HDR, but this this feature is still missing on the GoPro Hero 11 Black. So both of these two cameras has excellent in-camera stabilization algorithm. Well, the GoPro call it HyperSmooth 5.0 and Insta360 call it the in-camera flow state. Both of these two cameras could deliver a similar stabilization result for your every content creation. But in some very extreme situations, sometimes I still believe that the GoPro Hero 11 has a little bit better performance. Here I'm trying to walk along the street. Let's check out the stabilization effect on the left and right. The bones have real-time stabilization. Try to tilt the camera angle a little bit. Slowly to the angle and let's check out which one is better. Let's check it out. And we are going to turn the back to another place. This time I'm going to run with these two cameras. Try to run both cameras. But things got a little bit tricky once you have mounted the 360 mod with the One RS. Because with 360 mod, you have captured all of 360 space and you don't have you don't miss any content all around you. And this is where this 360 photo state stabilization really shines because you can 
locked or writing whatever you want, you don't lose any detail. And you can reframe from this amazing 5.7K at 30 FPS 360 video. The GoPro Hero 11 also deliver the auto boost, which will give you the best possible field of view, uh, no matter where or how you mount the camera. And it will lock the horizon by cropping the image sensor, but you will lose a little bit of resolution when you cropping in this 72 megapixels, the 8x7 image sensor. But sometimes, but you should notice for 360 cameras, the two image sensors, full sensor readout, and stabilized reframe in post, you get whatever you want. I am now shooting with three cameras at the same time. One of them is One RS with 4K boost, another one is 11 Hero Black, and a One RS with 360 mod. You know, for twin edition of Insta360 One RS, not only you can capture the specific point of view when you equip with 4K boost mod, but you can also mount your 360 module that basically have capture 360 content all around you that is to say when you reframe in post you can choose every perspective you want as you might have noticed i'm now on the back of the camera but for 360 camera for 360 lens you can still bring back the subject or just still at the back side of your camera i am now shooting with three cameras at the same time one of them is one rs with 4k boost Another one is 11 Hero Black and a One RS with 360 mod. You know, for twin edition of Insta360 One RS, not only you can capture the specific point of view when you equip with 4K boost mod, but you can also mount your 360 module that basically will have capture 360 content all around you. That is to say, when you reframe in post, you can choose every perspective you want. As you might have noticed, I'm now on the back of the camera, but for 360 camera, for 360 lens, you can still bring back the subject, or just still at the back side of your camera. You can stabilize the result, whatever you want. You can lock the horizon, you can lock the vertical line, you can lock any line you want in post. This is definitely the magic of 360 camera. While on the action camera, like the GoPro Hero 11 Black, you don't have that much potential in post. Here to speak, while well, I rotate the 11 black, the camera, let's definitely check out the stabilization. Well, 11 black and the one RS with 360 mod. Let's check out which one of the camera could stabilize the horizon line and which camera could actually lock the vertical line. Coming next, let's talk about the invisible selfie stick. I mean, 360 camera was famous for the invisible selfie stick. How is that possible? Because the 360 lens, once you have mount your camera aligned with your selfie stick, this is where the selfie stick locates in the blind spot of these two fisheye lenses. So physically speaking, the selfie stick is invisible at the beginning. So this is where you can uh, capture the third person POV shot without a selfie stick. But this is really hard for the action camera like the GoPro Hero 11. That is where the GoPro designer has designed a three-way selfie stick to try to eliminate the selfie stick to the uh, minimalist level. But it's quite difficult for the normal action camera with a single lens to fully wipe out the selfie stick. When once you have mounted a three-way selfie stick, the camera is more shaky compared to this compared to this form factor. So I I mean the 360 camera module that really make the selfie the portrait shot a lot easier without selfie stick. And this is where you get something that's viral on your social network once you have the ability to show people the invisible selfie stick. So I think this is where 360 cameras really shines on the social network and that was the 360 cameras has been famous for. And for the 360 camera, now the Insta360 has, uh, from start to finish, a complete workflow to reframe the 360 shot, so to speak. For your action camera scenarios, you can always shoot first and point later with reframe in your Insta360 app or in the Insta360 Studio, the desktop workflow. I mean, it's quite easy and intuitive design. So shoot first, point later, I mean, it's always possible in your content creation and needless to say 
the Insta 30 also has designed the AI to help you better reframe without your efforts. So definitely give it a try on the 360 reframe capability. That is where they finally unleash the potential, the magic of 360 camera. Because with GoPro Hero 11, you have to think about what you're gonna shoot. Because this, you have a fixed field of view, and you have to align with your uh, subject the, every second, or you will lose the target. So for 360 camera, just mount or hold in your hand, just enjoy your action, and reframe later. You get the best possible moment in every action. Coming next, let's talk about the photographic potential in between this 4K boost with One RS and the GoPro Hero 11 Black. Both of the two cameras could deliver amazing imaging quality, but they do have a lot of differences. So for the GoPro Hero 11 Black, it has a 27 megapixel when you perform full sensor readout. You get an amazing field of view with a, a large amount of detail of 24 megapixel uh, inside the 1 over 1.9 inch imaging sensor. But it's uh, 8 over 7. If you want to post in your Instagram or the social network, you have to crop into square or crop 16 by 9, 9 by 16, that you will end up with around 20 or 22 megapixels. So this is where you get from the GoPro Hero 11 Black. It built with the 72 megapixel image sensor, but the result you get is normally to be uh, 20 or to 22 megapixel by cropping, because for the social media, you always have to crop in post. Well, things got quite tricky on the Insta360 ONE RS, because it has a half inch image sensor with four over three sensor range and with perform full sensor readout with the quad bear pattern. This image sensor could deliver up to 48 megapixels. Yes, you have heard it right, 48 megapixel. So this is around the double the pixel compared with the GoPro Hero 11, and both of the two cameras could deliver raw DNG format. So one of the differences in between the One RS compared with GoPro is that on the basis of the single raw DNG format, so this One RS module system, this One RS with 48 megapixel could generate the pure shot image. The pure shot image really pushed the boundary of the action camera photography by utilizing the advanced the AI pipeline and the analyze the post process in a single raw file that could generate a better dynamic range with less noise on the basis of a single raw DNG file. This is where the feature that is still missing on the GoPro Hero 11 Black. But for the GoPro Hero 11 Black, you do have a super photo that could automatically perform HDR synthesizing, detect the low light, and automatically apply the best strategy to help you get a better photo. But for the super photo, you will only end up with a JPEG imaging format. But for the One RS, you always end up with the raw file. And once you have cooked with pure shot, the result is it's pretty stunning. Pure shot image really makes the 4K boost lens a lot more useful, especially in low light. So definitely check it out. And I will also make my in-depth review on the basis of the pure shot technology. Insta360 company was famous for their software ecosystem, the software experience. So Insta360 has made 360 camera very friendly to a wide range of customers that if because this company has provided a whole AI powered editing suit from start to finish. So compared with the Hero 11 Black, and the One RS with 4K boost mod. This One RS with, I mean, with the One RS module system, especially when you have this One RS 4K boost mod, you have different uh, tons of editing features on the basis of the AI. And this AI shot lab is constantly upgraded uh, every time the Integrity app has a new version. So definitely can check out this app and check out the AI shot lab. I think this AI shot lab will blow your mind away. And this AI shot lab not just work on the 4K boost, but they normally designed for the 360 camera modules like this uh, 360 mod, as well as this dual one inch image sensor. So definitely check out, I mean, definitely check out the sky swap, the nose mode, and the latest street labs that will definitely blow your mind away.
so to speak, the Insta360 app has an AI assisted editing power suit, which is still missing on this GoPro Hero workflow. But you should notice that the GoPro Hero, the quick software, is also a great editing software that auto generate the daily vlog on the basis of your content, because in your content, the GP2 sensor will automatically highlight some moment in your content creation and use the quick to identify this highlight and export your highlight moment into virtual vlog. This feature is great, but compared with the AI power editing suit, I think the Insta360 did a way much better job compared with the GoPro Hero 11. On the basis of the brand new the big update on the firmware, your existing camera could be revolutionized a brand new camera design with a tons of new features. Uh, as you might have noticed, once I think in the year of 2021, there are four major upgrades that definitely make the push the boundary of the One R and One X2 to the next level. I think we would definitely expect to have more features in the future considering this upgrade record. So for example, for on the basis of the One R and X2, you get a new color profile, you also get horizon leveling, and you also get improved user interface and loop recording. I mean loop recording is a must-have feature for those of you who've been crazy about motorcycle of you want to use your One R S as a dash cam. I mean all of these features in this recently lets the customers constantly upgrade their new firmware and to meet the latest requirement from their customers. And you should notice all of this firmware upgrade, app upgrade and studio upgrade, all of the upgrades is free of charge. And there is a secret tiny little feature of the One RS module system that is you can still live preview your content while recording. So this is a feature that is still missing on this GoPro product line. So for the GoPro camera, this firmware upgrade will remain pretty much the same on the basis of their launch event. And yes, GoPro does provide some very small improvement to correct some issues. For example, for the GoPro Max, they bring back the high frame rate. And for the GoPro Hero 10, they have optimized the overall battery performance. But yes, you just cannot get more feature on the basis of firmware upgrade on the GoPro cameras. And for the GoPro Hero cameras, you just want to enjoy some paid features. You have to uh, subscribe to their uh, year plan. And yeah, it does give you a discount in the first year, but you have to pay a lot more money in the next year. And next year, and once in the next year, the GoPro released another new camera that tried to convince you to purchase a new camera. And again, the purchase another new year subscription. And for the accessories, I mean, this is where Insta360 really rivals the GoPro camera. For example, let's talk about the mic adapter. For the mic adapter for this uh, One RS, it's very cheap and you can charge while recording with external microphone. But for the GoPro cameras, uh, either you need a media mod, you have need a media mod that has an onboard microphone, but it, it will make camera a lot bigger. Uh, or you can purchase an external mic adapter, which will also cost you a lot more money compared with the Insta360. For the accessory design, I mean, so the One RS mic adapter only costs you around $20, but for the GoPro mic adapter, it will cost you around $50, and it's a lot bigger compared with Insta360 mic adapter. Here I would like to share with you an accessory that I have with the One RS, because I've been playing around with accessories every time I enjoy this camera. Here you can see, this is the external, this is the external uh, quick reader that you can uh, record your content directly inside this uh, quick reader that you can directly insert in your Android or iPhone that you can start the online editing with cable connect with lightning fast speed. So this is one of the, my favorite accessory for the One RS to definitely check this out. And here is the mic adapter for this One RS. It's very small, light, compact, support TRS on top, and it also charge via this USB-C port. This is amazing design by Synova, and Synova has 
provide similar solution for the One X2 and X3 as well. And here is the PD21 and the extra cold shoe mount where you can add an, an extra cold shoe to your One R Smarter system. Detachable cold shoe mount adapter on the top of your frame, just like this one. You also get a detachable cold shoe mount on top where you can mount accessories, microphones, uh, or LED lights light up your face. And this slide in and out mechanism of this camera also has very unique protection for your camera. Not only help the heat dissipation, but it also adds some extra protection on the onboard microphone. That will definitely help this One RS to generate a better audio quality straight out from the camera. So for the accessory system, I have already made my in-depth review of all of the Insta360 accessories on the One RS, the One X2, and X3 to definitely check out all those videos. So on the contrary, for the GoPro Hero 11, uh, you have very limited choices. And for some of the official accessories, I think the price point is way too much higher compared with the Insta360 official solution. But one of the accessories that I highly recommend on the GoPro Hero 11 Black is the Max Lens Mod. Because when you mount the Max Lens Mod, you get the similar capability just like the 360 mod. But the Max Lens Mod will cost you a lot more money to get this feature and we end up with less resolution compared with a real 360 camera like the Insta360. The money you have been spent on your action camera consists of two parts. One of them is the camera body. So the camera body of the OneRS is around 150 US dollars cheaper compared with GoPro Hero 11 and while the second part is on the accessories. So all these accessories, I mean, to, to sum up all these accessories, they are still a little bit cheaper compared with a Max Lens mod and compared with a GoPro uh, mic adapter. I mean, sometimes I think the GoPro accessories, the GoPro media mod, the GoPro, the GoPro screen, the GoPro uh, LED mod, the light mod, all of these official accessories has way cost you way too much money. That is where I personally I love to choose Insta360 as my main camera when I want to use an action camera. I mean, to wrap up in this video, I have made a very in-depth side-by-side -side comparison between this One RS system and the GoPro Hero 11 Black. So both of these two cameras are great. They have different marketing strategy, they have different price point, but it's up to you to judge whether which camera you love, which camera you want in your every content creation. And I do hope this video could help you better make your own judgment in between these two cameras and help you better make your content on the basis of the action camera design. And if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to sum up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. So stay safe, see you next time. Bye.